Good evening, I'm Melanie Michael. Thank you so much for joining us on this Sunday night. We've got a lot of stories to get to, but first, we are going to talk about severe weather. It is on the way. In less than 24 hours, we could see heavy rain, rough winds, and possibly even some tornadoes. So for that, let's go straight to News Channel 8's Ian Oliver. He has been tracking the storm system all day, and you and I had a conversation early on in the day that this is quite serious. Yeah, beautiful start to the weekend today, but unfortunately, as we head into the second half of the weekend, that's where we will see the potential for some strong and severe thunderstorms with the cold front heading our way, taking a live look outside right now. Very tranquil. This will be a sharp contrast to what this camera is looking like likely at this time tomorrow. Temperatures in the low 70s right now. Very comfortable from the Hula Bay restaurant in Tampa. But looking ahead to tomorrow, that's where a good portion of the area from just south of the bay points northward from there at an enhanced risk for severe weather, a slight risk farther off to the south and east from there. The potential that we could see severe weather across the Tampa Bay area tomorrow. The timing primarily from 3 to 9 p.m. right along a squall line, some damaging wind gusts possible. Hail, an isolated tornado, a possibility there will be fully staffed through the weekend. So keep an eye on Facebook and Twitter. And of course, we'll be with you uh, here on air. Max Defender 8 this evening tracking some rain just offshore. Those showers have been weakening over the last 20 to 30 minutes, but still going to have to keep a shower chance through this evening and into the overnight hours tonight as those showers try to move on shore. All the active weather so far today, that's been across the southeastern United States, where unfortunately we've seen some deadly tornadoes in the southeast. All the severe weather this evening will be staying off to our north, but into the afternoon hours tomorrow, that's where we could see our round coming up. We'll detail uh, the storms hour by hour tomorrow afternoon and evening and look ahead to some quieter, cooler weather to follow the front. Mel? A busy 24 hours ahead. Ian, thank you so much for the update. We know you will keep us updated throughout the night. Well, this threat.